Welcome back. Today's video is going to be an update on my Beautylish Lucky Bag. It's been about a month and I've had some time to play with these products. So I'm going to let you know what I think about each product and whether I think the Lucky Bag ended up being worth it. The first thing I want to talk about is this Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Glow Serum. On my hand, it looks very glowy, but when I apply it to my face, which tends to be a little bit dehydrated, it's not as glowy as I would like. It does give a little bit of attack to the skin, which makes makeup apply better. Um, one downside to this product is that it causes me to break out. I would use this product and then I would have like little white heads on my face and I've used this multiple times so I know it is this product so unfortunately I'm not going to be using it anymore. While the Danessa Myricks ended up being disappointing, one product that I was wrong about was this Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream Light. I got this thinking that I wasn't going to like it, that it was going to be too fragranced and that my skin would have a reaction. However, my skin liked this just fine, even though it is heavily fragranced and I wish there wasn't a fragrance in it. I think the word light is a little bit of a misnomer. I haven't tried the original Magic Cream, so I can't tell you what that is like, um, but this is still a fairly heavy moisturizer. I would say if you have oily skin, you wouldn't like it. However, it makes a great glowy base for foundation. And I'm really glad that I got this in my box. And this is a high ticket item. Um, so that's great to see. I've generally had a good experience using Auric products. However, this Smoke Reflect must be a little bit old because it just doesn't blend very well. I'm going to show you the swatches. Like, it's just kind of layers kind of funny. It's just hard to get an even application and it ends up being patchy. And then sometimes you can blend it out to where it's like nothing. It's just not great. And I don't think it's something to do with this product specifically. I just think it has to do with the fact that this might have been sitting on the shelf a little bit too long. So unfortunately, this is another wash. In my original video, I was a little bit disappointed to receive a Viseart palette instead of like Natasha Denona or Janessa Myricks. However, after playing with this, I'm actually kind of glad that I received it. Now this is the Violet Vespertine palette. I got the name wrong in my original video. This is a very beautiful palette. Now, one thing I have to say is that some of the shades blend better than others. I've had better luck with the shimmer shades and the mattes are fine, but once you try to like layer the mattes is where I found that I had problems. When I was watching unboxings, people were disappointed with receiving hair products in their lucky bag. However, I was very excited to receive this since I have very thin hair. And I'm also very happy to say that I actually really like this product. Will say this isn't going to give you over the top volume. And I feel like using a volumizing product like a mousse or a spray post shower is gonna have a little bit more results than this. But what I liked about this is it didn't make my hair feel dirty. So I didn't feel like I needed to wash my hair as quickly. So I definitely appreciate getting this. When it comes to lipsticks, I typically stay in like the rose tones, the mauve shades. So when I received this Wayne Goss lipstick, I was absolutely terrified of it because this is what the shade looks like. And I am wearing it on my lips right now. It's not the best color for me. And it doesn't go great with the colors that I have in my wardrobe. Maybe if I wore a little bit more color in my wardrobe, it would look better um, on me. But um, the formula is also not my favorite. I tend to wear like high-end lipstick formulas like Chanel, Dior, YSL, which is just better than this Wayne Goss formula. However, I've heard that he is completely reformulating his makeup. So speaking to this formula, it probably doesn't really matter. I'm going to say that this is a product that doesn't really add value to my box because I'm going to wear this like a few times begrudgingly and then probably declutter it. We're going to talk about this slip product, which if you saw my video, you can tell like impassioned me and made me very, very mad. So mad, in fact, that I didn't see that this is actually an eye mask instead of the pillowcase, which brings the total value of the box down by like $40. It doesn't change the fact that I don't need it. With it being an eye mask, the pattern doesn't bother me quite as much, but I already have a silk eye mask, so I don't need to be opening this. I still need to find a home for it so that someone can love it. Sticking with products that I don't like, I wanna talk about this Good Molecules. As soon as I got this out of the box, I knew I didn't like it because I had used it before. 
the first couple times that I use it, it's not a problem. But what happens is it ends up drying the skin out and I get like really disgusting dry patches under my eyes, which is why I haven't even opened this. And I will try to find someone to give this to. So as I anticipated, not a product that I wanted. Next, we're going to talk about this Sonia G Sheer Buffer Brush. This is a very beautiful brush. It is so soft. Now, when I first got it, because of the name Buffer, I thought it would be for foundation. However, the density is just not quite right for that. When you go to the Beautylish website, it says that this is great for cream bronzer. Well, I don't wear cream bronzer, but I do use cream blush. So I have used it with cream blush. I need to make sure that I wash this really soon so that I don't stain the bristles. But it's a Sonia G brush. It is really great and I'm glad to have it in my collection. We have one last product to talk about and it is by far the best product in the box. Like I will be purchasing this once I am out of it. Like I love it that much and it is the Bioderma Lip Balm. Now I know it was like eh about receiving it, but what happened was I got sick and then we had snow and my lips got super chapped and nothing else worked but this. So when I run out of this, I am buying this again. It is awesome if you have dry chapped ouchy lips you need this let's do a quick recap so these are the products that i ended up really liking and these three over here together equal the cost of the box so i definitely got my money's worth so it is really great that i revisited this because initially i was disappointed but now that i have some experience with the products and i can look at it with fresh eyes it was actually a really great value and i definitely think i'm going to purchase a box next year so I hope you enjoyed this video. My next video is going to be an update on my project pan. And until next time, bye.